I'm going to slowly go towards that tree in front of us. Uh, and then we're going to stop. We'll have another look at how the leopard reacts. And then from there, we'll go again across the face. Never directly at an animal, especially if you don't know that they are, if they're relaxed or not. Okay, this is so exciting. Now, I was expecting we were going to see our first leopard up against the escarpment or around one of the luggers or river systems. Bree Bree says that looks like a massive leopard. I think you are right. Now, I will start talking quieter as I get closer, but I don't want to surprise the leopard. That is why I'm, I'm talking quite loudly, and so far, everything's looking quite good. I haven't even seen a head lift, which means this is probably a nice, relaxed big tom. And Bree Bree, I think it's quite a big-looking male as well. Just from the size of the tree and the size of that cat. Woohoo! And, uh... This is going to be so exciting because we're going to be able to hopefully get some nice ID shots um, of this leopard. And we're just going to stop here and have another closer look. And uh, as again, he has not moved an inch. He's, he has not even lifted his head at us, which is a very... Oh, there we go. His head's lifted now. So he has heard us. That is a massive boy. Maybe not too old. I'm trying to see if there's tears in the ear but of his head yeah back to sleep that is a really good sign so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep edging closer and gauging his reaction it looks like he's going to just lie down again yeah that's a good sign so I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get close to him now the leopards that are relaxed are as relaxed as the ones in the Sabi sands Okay, let's continue on. And as I said, it's very important to just... Oh, there's a termite mound in front of me. Go very, very slowly in these situations. And this is one of the most... One of the most exciting things about coming into a new area. And an amazing thing about having such a vast area is that you do get to see animals that might not have seen cars before. And it is a, one of the most wonderful things to be able to sneak up and habituate and gain those animals' trust. Hi, Roshni. Roshni wants to know how far we are. I would say we're roughly about 80 meters from the leopard currently. But again, it looks like he's gone right to sleep. Uh, he's not perturbed with our presence at all. So what, I, what I'm doing is I'm watching him as we're driving. Now, Dave's going to try to give you a view. It is quite difficult because we are off-road. And I'm just watching his reactions. The fact that he hasn't turned his head to look at me uh, is a good sign. And uh, if, uh, as soon as he would sort of lift his head or, or even stand to look at us, even though I'm pretty confident this is a very relaxed leopard now, um, I would immediately switch off the car, stay for about five or ten minutes, just talking normally, getting the used to the sound of a human voice. As I say, I think this boy is, is, used, to, is used to people judging by the fact that he hasn't moved. Now, it'd be interesting to see if he's got a kill in this tree and if he's, or if he's hungry. Now, isn't this amazing? This is our first, whoa, leopard in the Maasai Mara, and that's why you gotta be careful. Look at that, this big mud wallow out here, just sneaking up, trying to catch me. Don't worry, we were not caught. I was paying the right amount of attention to where I'm driving and to looking at the leopard. Oh, we're going to get so close now. I can. Oh, this is going to be great. So hopefully I don't get stuck. I'm only joking, of course. I'll leave that to James and Jamie. Getting stuck, that is. So I'm still not going to go right up to the tree yet. I still want to have a look at him. Uh, just gauge his reactions. Uh, he's lifted his head, but he doesn't look nonplussed. He looks the same as what Tingana or, or, or one of the Sabi Sands leopards might do. How's that for you, Dave? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, he's going to yawn. Hello. As I said, you look like a big leopard, but not particularly old. And he looks to be a monster. And he looks like he does not mind us one iota. Oh, tired kitty. Beautiful. I've just realized something, Dave. I have broken my leopard 
in a Balanites tree duck. I have never seen a leopard in a Balanites. Fair enough, that is the Balanites species, uh, Morgami, that is in the Sabi sands. But my, I, I, this is special. The first live leopard in the Maso Mara. My first leopard. And I've seen a lot of leopard. And it's in a Balanites. Hi, James. James is wondering how the leopards of the Maasai Mara adapted to living there with a high number of, I suppose, lions and hyenas. Well, James, they have their trees. And as I said, I wasn't expecting to see a leopard right out here in the Balanites zone, but it makes sense. There's a lots of uh, Thompson's gazelle in this long grass. We could find oribi as well, um, lots of scrub hares. And of course, I just heard some of the first zebra crossings happened uh, today. So there's baby zebras coming through. The wildebeest should be arriving shortly. And at this time, it's sort of a time of plenty. So they're probably not as in competition as much, but I think they would very quickly abandon their kill. Okay. Now he is absolutely nonplussed whatsoever. So I'm going to get a little bit closer. Now, we're going to get ourselves into the position, get ready to take all the screenshots of this beautiful boy. But while we do that, let's go to Ali and some elephants.